Good morning. Uh, boats Incorporated had an awful lot of input to do with this boat, and we just got it in yesterday. We're awfully excited, so we thought we'd just give you our version of the tour of the new 271. 2000 for new for 2012. So, welcome aboard the new 271 Canyon for a Boat Sink tour. 27 foot boat, 9 6 beam, 202 gallons of fuel, the twin 300 horsepower new generation Yamahas with electronic fly by wire controls. Welcome to the helm area of the new 271. Plenty of space for flush mount electronics. AM FM uh, stereo system with two 12 volt uh, electronic outlets. The new Yamaha gauge system. An incredibly large compass is something we've asked for. Hydraulic tilt steering. And the layout and visibility of the helm area is just absolutely incredible. Okay, we told you this is the Canyon Fisherman. First, we'll start with the patented stern seat area. The absolute most comfortable place in the world to ride on a boat. And as you can see how tough it is to fold the seat down. And when you're all done with it and you're working some big fish in the cockpit, two seconds up and out of the way. I have a huge fish box in the transom. As with all Grady White fish boxes, hinge, nitro assist bracket open it. This gasketed, 316 stainless. And they drain over the side of the boat. No fish shoulders in the bilge. And beside it, we told you it was hardcore fishing. We have another huge live well. Once again, the new blue liner. Recirculating live well that is also illuminated and recirculating. Boats usually come two ways with a couple pedestal seats or leaning posts. Here we have a huge leaning post with the option of a fold down seat. So if you do want to sit down, you're not trapped in a bucket seat. And if you're going to offshore in some rough seas and want to let your legs take some of the, the, the leg work, flip that up and lean against the leaning post. Okay, let's start with the back of that super leaning post. First we have a sink with a fresh water wash down. Rinse yourself off any kind of bait fish odors right in here. All right when handy grab. Okay, be prepared for something really cool. Right next to it we have this huge live well that is first has a clear top, has now has a blue liner. Um, I'll let Mark put his arm in there, but first check this out, the nice lighting and circulation in the live well. This is incredible. And check out the depth of this thing. I don't know the capacity. We'll get that from the brochure, but now you get an idea of the size of this live well. Under the sink area, we have two more storage areas. One for tackle storage, easy pull out drawers. And just above it, pull out, pull out drawer. Come right out and clean if need be. Or take it home and load it up as need be. Slide right back in. And one key fits all the locks on the cabin. Our next stop is the head area. Full marine head with holding tank and macerator. It's a walk down head with plenty of storage access to the electronics and drainage. Uh, perfect place to store a lot of equipment for going offshore. Okay, let's move to the bow area, the part that we had a lot of input with. I'm really happy Grady White asked us what we felt about it. Uh, being a center console, you want to be able to fish 360 degrees around, but also have family comfort. And this new bow cushion in the forward seating area is absolutely incredible. But it's not just a seat. Let's open it up and show what we have down below. Again, I'll refer to the, the manual for the quantities, but here we have the absolute huge fish box and storage area. That typical with Grady again is insulated, drains over the side, and also has a divider that when you want to have smaller loads, will fit right in the middle, and you can separate dry storage from the wet storage area. And you see the drain, where everything drains. Once again, the key with this is 90 degrees. It folds all the way up so nobody's going to be bump bumping their head. Nitro assist brackets and even gasketed with a rubber latch to hold it down when we're all done. While we're in the bow area, notice the new stainless cup holders. Uh, we've added a raw water wash down not only in the back of the boat, but the front the controls for your windlass are right at your knees, along with an access storage locker so you can get at the anchor line if need be. As you can see, the huge four deck on the new 271. Safe, very, very attractive looking, low recess bow rails. And Mark is going to open up the new anchor locker. Once again, Grady White's famous stainless hardware, a cleat. The inside of the anchor locker is actually finished better than the outside of other people's boats. The nitro assist and Grady's own RTM lid. And as you can see with the washdown hose, you can wrench down the area yourself to keep it from getting crowed. Also this is a fishing boat along with family fun. We have a recessed 
anchor light in the bow. The running light, I should say. Flips up for night running, night when you're fishing, so no lines will catch on. All right, the new Grady White T top is not just a T top. Rod holders, the new Top Gun outriggers that can be taken down or collapsed. Um, inside the new electronics, electronics box molded in. You can see right here how you actually operate the uh, outriggers by just pulling the handle down and swinging it out. All from inside the helm area. One of the real trick things that they've done, is, as I said, is everything is molded in. We have our stereo speakers molded in. We have the up above storage for life jackets and sweaters or keep things high and dry and also ventilated. As I said, the speakers, the you have LED lights to light up the stern. Incredibly bright. Again, beautifully finished area. Um, this one comes with full enclosure with deck wings. We have an, even have a nice dome light now or mood lighting if you will. That's multiple color, red, white, or blue in the LED colors. Really makes it kind of sexy. Also in the very bow, integrated, is the forward spreader light. Once again, LED, no lights to get corroded and rusty up outside. Um, just a quick rinse off and a wipe down and this boat is clean, ready to go for the next time out. Hope you enjoyed this quick tour. Visit BoatSync.com or GradyWeight.com for further information on the boat. Or call today and schedule for showing. Thank you very much.